from? From the depths of Alta Loma in the heights of Cucamonga Peak, it's On the Couch with Dr. Strange. Hey, hey! hey. Look at me. I'm not dancing. My underwear is riding up on me. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you up there. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I really appreciate it. Wow, what a big studio audience. God damn. That is amazing. All right, let's get right to the stupidity. What's in the news today, guys? Um... Politics. Politics are in the news today. The Olympics, of course, all the Lock D stuff. Um, you know, I was thinking, what does uh, women's basketball and Trump have in common? They're both very interesting to watch, but no one really cares. Okay, write your hate mail to Dr. Strange Records, care of Pippi. <laughs> I don't want to be only heard and not seen. <laughs> what about the stench? That's universal. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people come to me in the store, customers and otherwise, and they say, oh, man, Bill, the store is so cool. It's kind of like going back in time, you know, because we do specialize in punk rock from the 70s and the 80s. So in that spirit, I was watching old episodes of Johnny Carson. For you younger people, he is the precursor to Jay Leno. Uh, you know, you know who he is. He's, he's world famous. Anyway, Google it. So anyway, I've been watching old episodes of Johnny Carson, and some of the jokes that he did back then, I actually got into the uh, NBC vaults. These are the jokes that weren't allowed back then in the early 80s or so because they were kind of too spicy. But I think they might play okay today, you know, especially here on, on the couch with Dr. Strange. Uh, so in that spirit, hey, you guys hear about uh, Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson? Yeah, now they're, they're splitting up. Oh. Yeah, it's sad but true. Uh, apparently, Burt Reynolds has an appetite for stray pussy more than Alf. Oh, hell! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys watched uh, last week's episode of Taxi? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ABC you know, said the ratings are slipping a little bit, so in order to spice things up a little bit, in this week's episode, Louie gave Latka genital awards. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Laka simply said, thank you very much. Oh, yes! Okay, you guys hear about the chef that died? He passed away. Boom! Oh. All right, that was a latecomer, oh. just like me. All right, I'm very honored, enough with the insanity, very honored to have a guest from Mexico, our first Mexican guest, our first guest from south of the border. We're going to find out much more about them. Acidez. Here we go, guys. Let me get my little drinky poo. Oh, I forgot my mic. I hope you guys heard me okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll fix it and post. Whatever that means. I gotta post up my ass. Alright, guys, thank you very much What's for up? being here. Really appreciate it. What's very, up? very That's cool. I really, really, really appreciate it. Cool. Okay, guys. Well, let's let's get off my ass. Let's start off with uh, let's introduce for people that don't know, because this goes out all around the world. So go ahead and introduce yourselves and what you do in the band. I'm Juan and I play the drums. I am Tupa, I'm the singer. Hey, what's up? I'm Rodo, I'm the guitar player. And I'm Diego, bass player. This is, I mean, I speak very little Spanish like we talked about earlier. I worked in restaurants, I know um, kitchen Spanish, you know, but what does, um, let me know if I'm not saying it correctly, acidez? I, I thought it was acidez. Acidez, what does that mean? It's acid. It is. That's what I thought. Like it's yeah, pretty yeah. obvious. Ah, I like that's that's it's like acidity. Yeah. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Acidity, that, yeah. That's what I assumed. Yeah. English and Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I mean, I had no <laughs> idea. Um, one thing that's curious to me and hope to the audience is how does the scene and people in general differ in Mexico as opposed to the U.S. or in Europe? But let's just say the U.S. How does it how are you perceived by, by just the people or the punk scene? Mm. If, 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 I know you, English isn't your first language, so let, <laughs> make sure you know, let me know, well, it's, it's, I can it's, rephrase it. It's, it's kind of different, in Mexico the punk scene is different. In, know, in what way? For example, in my, in, my, in my hometown, Guadalajara, 10 days uh, ago, mm -hmm. there were like thousands of punks on the streets, in Cultural, 10 days ago. To, to see you, or just in general? I mean, that many people out to see you guys? Or, or Yeah, we have followers and fans in our, in our town as well. But every time we go to Mexico City, it's fucking huge. It's amazing. It's fucking, fucking... Yeah. 
It's Mexico City and surroundings. Yeah. Uh, it's like yeah, a it's scene, one, like one of the biggest scenes in the world. <laughs> Is it? I, yeah, I, yeah. I can believe it. How many people live in Mexico City? It's uh, 24, 24 million people. How many? 24, 24 25. Uh, really? Jesus. Yeah. That's one of the most populated cities yeah. in the world. And there is a huge scene. It's a little divided, like, oh, in, in what way? world. In Mexico City, it's divided, you know, it's like hardcore scene, punk rock oh. scene. Actually, it's divided in all the world. That's exactly. That, that's it. It's like in that's, Saudi. Yeah. <laughs> Do people, for the most part, get along and they're supportive? Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, it depends on the city you are in Mexico. Uh, because Mexico is a big fucking country. We, did, we didn't play in every city in Mexico. And, well, it's... I don't know. How, how can I explain? You should be there to see yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, in Mexico City and surroundings, Surroundings, they have like uh, his sound style of mm -hmm. music of punk rock. It's not like it's so basic, like to, to, right. to find and to the shorts. And it's something that, that I never seen in uh, in another country, in another place. Oh, it's really? Like his sound. Yeah. And sometimes the people is close to this style. He didn't. They didn't listen another kind of punk rock in the world. Only Mexican Just punk. That. That's that's kind of cool. Maybe the the most popular band like Casualties, Exploded, mm -hmm. GBH, mm -hmm. but they but they the style is like a it's un unique. Yeah. yeah, there are also old bands in Mexico that had never uh, went to another country like us, mm -hmm. and it's because uh, they are kind of close. Only they play in Mexico, in the Mexican areas only. Well, I'm sure it's difficult and expensive to get out of the country, at least, and, and tour. Is that true, or is it easy yeah, for you guys yeah. to come? Oh, yeah. For us, for well, American, it yeah. in the place of money, the visas are difficult. Yeah. Yeah. We spend a lot of time trying to get the visas and kind of have... Actually, I'm not the original bass player. I'm yeah. just the replace for the original bass player. Exactly. Bass player. He's my, my brother, and oh. I'm, he couldn't make it, so I'm here to join the band in the so U.S. tour. Because you could get in. And he yeah, yeah, make he could make yeah, it because of right. the visa issues. So right. They say no to him. <laughs> I, that's just really him. common. You know, yeah. that's, it seems like it's going on more and more, not just with Mexico, but the UK and yes. the anti nor League that happened to them. Yeah. Um, well, you mentioned earlier the, the Casualties and GBH. What other bands are your influences? Are those two bands a heavy influence on you guys? Of course. Yeah, it's really. yeah, well, it's for example, me. I got this one, oh, yes. it's from Czech Republic band, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. they play since metal, since punk, crust, hardcore, uh, rock, and <laughs> rock and roll. roll. And this other is from Spain, mm -hmm. the MG 15, they play more DB, it's one of my favorites, I recommend it. What about you guys, uh, cool. what other bands are you <laughs> listening to or have influence uh, This you? is, brothers. okay, this is my influence, like, these two bands. <laughs> Because I like metal <laughs> punk, you know, like uh -huh. thrash and punk, Nietzsche. But like so, DRI. Like DRI, Rush, yeah, yeah. Tendencies, Manus oh, yeah. Rush, Tuxilocos, Spearman and Punks. Uh, I think these kind of bands are also influenced for the band. Like, How, we, we like to play like a little thrashy style. Mm -hmm. yeah. How easy is it for you guys to actually buy records down there and what are the prices? Are you mostly listening to music online? Or are you going into a record store and buying vinyl or CDs? Actually, there is an there is an there is not a good store records in our yeah, city. Like, there are no places. The first time ever I can get it here. Yeah, really? Really? thank you. Yeah, punk, punk music is is very very difficult to get punk music in Mexico and records or CDs. Yeah, that's why I give you guys a lot of credit because you are kind of isolated in the sense of yeah. money or lack of record stores, um, and so just the fact that you guys are able to search it out and get into it, yeah, exactly. and I think that's really cool. It takes a lot more work. Yes. than growing up in Southern California where it's kind of all over the place and you don't really have a choice. You know, like it's in your face. You have to go out and search it out. Yeah, but you know, in the, since the internet era, yes. we are just able to find anything and if you wanted to find it, we were just look at that in the, on the internet and that's it. I but would, we don't have stores like you have in here. Yeah. We gotta order this kind of stuff through the internet. Yeah, most yeah. of the LPs that do I have are from Europe. Also. Yes. Yeah. Well, I would imagine, like you said, the internet Maybe before the internet, punk the punk movement was there, but not as huge. Exactly. And then probably it exploded since exactly. people had more access to music. Is that true? You think? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about uh, for you guys? How many releases do you have? Like, how many records? And I mean, you're doing a tour. How many? We have four records have already. Four? Yeah, the band has 13 years old. Is it? Wow. That's yeah, it's impressive. almost 15. 2003. Yeah, since 2003. We have four records. Are they all LPs or are they? They are in both. Oh, cool. Only the this last, is the, this is the new one. Oh, good. One. And this is a present for you guys. Oh, yeah, thank actually. you. I'll have you sign it. Here, guys. Yeah. Awesome. And this is CD. I'll buy some from the TV store, uh, for sure. And These will be available on the store, but also check them out yes, it will live be available. and this on their the, website, too. This is the second one. Don't ask for permission, the second one. There is also the record is on vinyl, too, but we don't yes. have right now. Well, that's and another one of my questions yeah. is, in Mexico, we're, are you guys getting records pressed? In Mexico, or you have to go no, to another we have country? two labels. Plants? They have labels. No, three labels actually. We have, have one, one label, label, one label in Czech Republic. Yes, got it. Voltage Records, uh -huh. and they are the one who made everything about the LPs. We have another record label in Canada called Unrest Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know we have them? a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's a good label. And the Mexican one, Bam Bam Records, also. We have three. Oh, that's so, good. We have to take care about this to, to press the, the music. Is it affordable to press a record? It's yes. expensive yes. everywhere, but yeah. it's yes, probably we, comparable. But in Mexico, only CDs. Really? We, still? Uh, CDs are still popular? Yes, yes. yes. Actually, if you get a vinyl, just show to the people, and no one knows that it works. Yeah, if they say yes. that it's kind of. In Mexico, uh, like old school. Yes. I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Culture is not like here or like Europe. It's only uh, what is this? Is this? Uh, so we have people ask. Yeah. Yes, grandfathers dying. So. Do you think that'll yeah. finally make it? I think it'll make it to Mexico. Yes, yeah, because the, the tapes are getting right now are getting very used to use yes. tapes in Mexico. So probably after this, a few years uh, later, mm -hmm. we'll be able, able to get LPs. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that'll happen. But I think that's yes. just for the real collectors, yes. maybe right. just the people that are very involved into this kind of music, just not for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it is difficult to find it over there. Mm. But we just uh, again an order for in, from the internet. And yeah. That's it. Yeah, we send stuff to people all over the world, including Mexico. For example, in Europe, if you sell a CD, they throw it away. <laughs> They, they don't care they about really CDs. Yeah, they they, buy they only buy CDs. records. Yeah. I know, it's funny. CDs are for change. trash. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, like for a frisbee. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, it's funny. Well, let me switch from music because it's our political season. Uh, what is, not only you guys, because I can imagine, but what about the, the country of Mexico for the most part in your best ability to answer, think of Trump? <laughs> oh yes. You think take it seriously, or do you really you want to? We talk about Trump. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm, just, I'm, just, you, you want, I'm curious. You wanna, you wanna a fast que answer? Yes. Fuck him. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. Yeah. 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 My big concern, as far as Trump goes, is that the rest of the world thinks that he represents America, and he, he doesn't. I think he makes us look bad, or look like racist, or you know what yes. I mean. I don't want people to think poorly of us, so. When he loses, I hope he loses by a yeah. lot, you know? I, mean, I, I figured you guys would say that, but my thing is he doesn't represent us. <laughs> you know, it's basically yeah, letting, know. letting everyone know He's that. a joke. Yeah. Um, you know, I always hear stories, and I'm not just stories, but first-hand accounts, like on CNN, there's so much corruption in the Mexican yes. government. Yeah. Yes. You know, all the way to the top. All yeah, the way, way to the top. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know, I've suffered that when, as a kid going down to Rosarita. You get pulled over for no reason. You, Pay off the cop, and how bad really is it? It is really bad. Well, it's, 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 it's that bad that fucking drug dealers go to the representative. Uh, I mean, if there's gonna be some new governor or some new yes. representative, they pay the campaign, they afford everything. So once the leader wins, uh, he let them cartel works. And right. The cartel owns the, the governor or the mayor. Yes. Yeah. Actually, our uh, president works. right now, the Donbass president that we have. Enrique Peña Nieto is right now the, the, the country is crying, you know, because all money are very yeah, because like every no, everyone everyone knows that he's just a puppet mm -hmm. from Salinas de Gortari, an old president old from president. like um, eighteen or ten years ago. I don't know. He's still handling the money and he's still handling the politics and everything in Mexico. Yeah. Everybody knows. 
You yeah. Know, the current president is just a fucking puppet. That's a lot. Of, uh, people don't really realize that Mexico has some of the richest people in the world living yes. there. Actually, yeah, the number one person living in the world. Mm -hmm. The discrepancy is huge. <laughs> you know, it's way more than the United States. Some of the richest, wealthiest people Carlos is the, yeah. live in yeah. Mexico, yeah. Yes. and they have the biggest, one of the biggest yeah. classes of poor the, the, people. There is that's that's seventy a, a revolution. million you know, people. That's not good. Poor people there in Mexico. Seven, seventy yeah. million. People. Yeah. In, in, poor, in poverty. In poor yeah, actually, the problem is very different. The mm -hmm. high class and the lower class is so divided. They, they run there, everything. There is no, the rich, yeah, actually, there's no middle class. Actually, yeah. uh, for me, uh, it was not used to, to go to, uh, very often to Mexico City since we play. Uh, since I play in the band, I mm -hmm. go more, more and more. And to, to see a, a city with a lot of people who live in poverty, and you go there, and then you drive like one hour, and you arrive to another place that is. It can be a different country. Uh -huh. it, it, I like was a, like, like a fucking tourist surprised. destination or yes. real not, yeah. Yes, everything can be rich, rich people. Um, you just cross the street, uh, take the bus, and you are in a, in a different country. Uh -huh. The whole other world. Yes. Have you guys ever had any personal experience with the cartels and the, <laughs> the drug dealers, like being intimidated or afraid? Actually, the police are the same yeah. than the cartel. Yeah. Uh, I, I, one time uh, I was traveling and the police stopped us in the, in the highway. For what reason, do you know? No, there's no reason over there for stop you. Just for stop you. a regular job for them, are just to stop you and check it out. And maybe just if they look at you, they can judge you. And they'll say like, ah, maybe he got something, so yeah. I'm going to stop this guy. So that, that time they stopped us, and I got a little bag of weed, and the police uh, caught me, and they said to me, um, come here, I got a more. How many, how many do you do you have for this bag? And the police so the gave me. The drug dealer. Yeah, exactly. And he uh, offered me a bigger, a bigger bag of weed than I got it, and he threw my weed, and get me, uh, he gave me the, their weed. And I was like, man, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? What is that, man? Mm -hmm. very and that's kind of normal? And, um, was, I, I don't think so, but uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, it's not normal, but it's a... It's a no, but it's because of the corruption, because uh, you you can be more afraid of the police, uh, police than a fucking cartel the dealer, because dealer. actually the cartel dealers, uh, I mean, the ones who are lords and... The bus are very related. They, they help the, the poor people. I've know. heard that too yes. to get their support. Yes. yes, and that's how it works. Do you ever see that changing? Mm. Do you ever think that you guys can break that cycle? You need someone honest, right? No, it's growing every day. It's growing. It's growing. The, the principal so problem is that the people don't care. Yes. If, if, if I don't. That thing do, doesn't affect to me. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Yeah, the people doesn't have the, the information. They, 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 they know all the problems in Mexico, and they are like uh, every day is news and newspaper, the TV, and the internet, Facebook. Oh, my country is a shit. But nobody do, do nothing, nothing to, to change, change. to uh -huh. a good change or something. A big like problem about Mexico is not the 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 top people over there, the governors or that kind of people are the people like us that we don't care about anything about our, our own country and our own people so uh, it's different like here because there are a lot of pa uh, patriotists yeah. in here and Mexican we don't get it. Over really? there. We only celebrate yeah. once a year and yeah, we, we kind of like uh, not so lovely not so loved in, in our Your people, country. You know, yeah. country that's ah. a problem because well, uh, it's like a, a disease. It's yeah, it sounds like it. Like you, you don't have the pride. Yeah, exactly. I think it sounds to me like the and people have been just beaten down, yeah. literally and, and figuratively, for for so many years. And you're kind of like, fuck it, nothing's gonna change. So yeah. why you just mind your own business? Yeah, everyone that's grows sad. with that kind of uh, thinking, and that's bad. That's how you're raised. Because exactly, and the education is the whole problem. I think so. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty sad. Yeah. There's problems. And it, it makes more sense, you know, why people from other countries, Mexico, Latin America, don't want to be there. They want a better future. They want a better yeah, life. You know, sure. I don't blame them for wanting to come here. It's, they're human.
you know? Yes. Those are the ones that want out. I, I would want out as well. Wow. Well, that's sad. Um, well, let's talk about something more. Uh, more sad. Happy. Happy. We're back. We're back. <laughs> but I think that's interesting. It's interesting yeah. to me. That's why I asked the question. I'm very curious about that. It's good to hear it firsthand and on the news, you know, because, you know, but you kind of back that up. Um, how's the tour going? How many shows and where are you guys playing and where have you played? We already played in San Clemente. Oh, really? In How Richmond. was that? Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. And we already played also in Richmond, California, in the north. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a really good venue. BA, BA area. Yeah. Bay area. Bay area. Bay yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. That's great. How many people would come out to your shows? Yeah, I don't know. It's, there is some small venues and big venues. Sometimes more than 100, maybe 500. Wow. Yeah. I would assume maybe more in Southern California. Yeah. Are your biggest shows yeah. in Southern yeah. California? Yeah, Los Angeles was the biggest one. Yeah. Who have you guys played with? Anyone that's that you really enjoyed, like opening acts that you guys really did? Yeah, yeah. we enjoyed Moral Decay. Moral Decay, yeah. Master, 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 Master Youth. Corrupt Youth. Master Youth. I don't, I don't yeah. Fist. Yes. And we will play more. next weekend with Naked Aggression. And oh, Battle, they're good. Battle of Saints in the observatory. Wow. In oh, Santana. Really? Yes. Yeah, in Santana. Oh, cool. Friday. Yeah, we'll on Friday, on Friday. Okay. You are invited. The observatory at Santa Ana. Yeah, Naked Aggression, and they're playing with Battalion of Saints. That'll be a good show. Next That'll Friday. That'll be really cool. Yeah. Friday, yeah. That's Friday. Oh, that's bitching. What about other bands in Mexico that you guys can recommend? Cause that's it's it's hard to get that music. So many people here at Doctor Strange ask for Spanish-speaking punk. Yes, you know what I mean. Well, there's, there's a few big bands, but all that stuff's hard to get. Yeah. If you like rock and roll and you like the beat and metal punk stuff, listen. Survival is my favorite band from Mexico. They are from Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Yes. Yeah. Great place. And Actually, there is a good bands too. also in my city, in Guadalajara. There's Los Monjos. Oh, Very yeah, good. we've had their LP. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah we probably have it now. Awesome. Yeah. Conflicto Social. Conflicto Social. From Old City. From Old City, yes. And Bomb Buster. Yeah. And in, May, in the capital, there is a lot of bands yeah. also from the 80s. Like Masacre okay, 68, okay, yeah, yeah. like a Toxico. Mm. Yeah. So he has a very good band. It's Dios Perro, yeah. like God Dog. Dog, uh -huh. God Dog. More grind. <laughs> A little more grind, grind, oh, grind core, grind core, exactly. Yeah. Have you guys ever played Europe? Yeah, three times. You have. Yeah, yeah, How's yeah. that? That was fucking cool. Yeah. What countries have you guys played in Europe? Uh, around twelve or eleven wow, countries. Really? Like, yeah, from Russia to France. Yes. Wow, really? Yeah, actually, one of the best shows ever was in Russia. The band was in Moscow, Russia. Really? Yeah, they are yes. fucking crazy. How was that? I, I it was crazy. crazy. We, crazy. We don't, I, I could not believe the. The event, the magnitude of the event, how do you say it? Yeah, magnitude. Yeah, magnitude, yes. Oh, it's big, a lot of yes. people, every time, every, everybody in motion. Oh, that's stage fun. Stage dying, uh, circle pit, singing that was probably their songs. A good surprise. Actually, it's very funny, because they speak Russian. And they yes. Don't, they don't they know sound, about they, 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 they sound singers. our songs. Yeah, they sound Spanish uh, songs. Yes, uh, and it, <laughs> they, they, did, they did very good. They did? Uh, they, they, that's yeah. weird. That's cool. Uh, yes, they were screaming like... Better than him. I see this, but the correct... Uh, the correct uh, accent. Uh, yeah. I see this. Yeah. yeah. I think better than Americans. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Sounds like it. That's weird. That's really cool. Yeah, it's yeah. funny yeah. to hear Russians speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any yeah. out. <laughs> Actually, Germany also is fucking great scene there. I think, for me, it's the best scene in the world. Is it? Why? Yeah. Just because... The... United. It's, oh. The only scene that I see is United. You can see... Crusties, street punks, hardcore kids, Skinheads. they all come out. Everything in one gig, you know. It's, oh. it's difficult to find the, these kind of gigs in the world because it's divided, you know. Yes. And Germany has the best scene for me in the world, I think. And they, they are very DIY, you mm -hmm. know, the venues. The squads. Uh, squads. Yeah, the squads. Yeah. There is, we love to play in the squads because it's, all the people are like uh, volunteers. Oh, yeah. They're working They're right for the, right in the food, in the door, in the... Sound engineer, right? All the things are like volunteers, and there is the people supporting you. There is gigs in, on Monday, and yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, it feels like a Friday on Monday in Germany. Huh. <laughs> Every day is a party. Every day is a gig. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter what day. That's cool. And they, actually, they have a lot of good bands also in Germany. Oh, for sure yeah. they do. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Have you guys played the UK, England? 
Uh, we're supposed to play there. We were before. going to play, but we got uh, an issue actually for the visas. Uh -huh. Because we were uh, hungover, we tried to cross the line. Oh, uh, they they stopped us, us and you know the rest of the yes. history. <laughs> yeah, but we're we, supposed we, to we play in Rebellion Fest. Oh, we see, that, that, that's yes. what I was thinking. That we would be cancel. awesome. And we're playing Punk and Disorderly also in, in, in Berlin. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good festival. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of most in, One of the most important festivals in the world. Wow. We play with Cox Barrer. Oh, wow. With Cox. With, oh, cool. That's old, really cool. Yeah. Do you have any new records coming out, or is that one your newest? No, this is the newest. newest. This year, yeah, three months ago. Okay, good. Cool. Anything else you guys want to mention? Mention your website so people can get in touch and buy yeah, your merchandise. Yeah, you can find us on Facebook, you know, as Des. A-C-I-D-E-Z. Yes, and the website, www.acidespons.mx. Yeah. And we want to thank uh, this, uh, this is space. store. Yeah, the space oh, that you are giving us, we appreciate that, and we hope we hope we can visit you again Anytime. in the future. Um, I don't know, my friends, what do you guys say? Well, thanks to Dr. No, Strange, this is yes, yes, thank my you. home. Thank you guys so much, yeah. you guys are very nice. Yeah. Well, my pleasure, bro. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank thank you. So Cheers, much. everybody. Appreciate that. Beautiful story. Thank yes. you. Thank you guys for watching. Naked? Yeah. Naked? Yes. Maybe? I don't know. All right, guys, till next time. I'm not sure who's coming up. We have uh, appointments with Abrasive Wheels, One Way System, Shattered Faith, Cause of Death. I am so busy and stressed, I have no idea, but I will see you Friday for live stream. Thank you very much.